What's up guys and welcome back to another video right onto my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to basically tell you how to fix a crash on stored up or crashing on stored up issue in Loon CD6. So stick to the end guys, this will be a step by step tutorial and in the end you'll probably know what to do in order to fix this kind of issue. Before we start right into the video, I just want you guys to know, let you guys know that I would really really appreciate it if you would just leave a like, a comment or a subscription right onto my YouTube channel. It would really make my day and help me out as a little YouTuber as I am. Especially subscribing would be such a big support for me guys, you would support my work on YouTube a little bit and I'm gonna really really be thankful for that and I'm gonna thank you for that. So anyways, let's get right started. The first step is going to be to open up your task manager by just simply navigating to your taskbar, right click it and open up your task manager. Once your task manager pop up, I just simply want you to navigate to the top left corner, clicking onto processes just to ensure that you're sticking around it. Afterwards, click one of those random processes, doesn't really matter which one, and type in B in order to find Loon CD6. If nothing pops up, good for you. If something pops up, simply right click and end the task. Once you're finished here, I want you to end the task manager. Next up is going to be to take your Steam or your Bloom CD6 shortcut on your desktop and if you don't have it on your desktop, simply navigate to the bottom left corner of your screen, click onto the Windows symbol and use the Windows search function in order to find it. Once you found it, simply drag it right back on your desktop. Let's quickly come back, take your shortcut, right click it and navigate to run as an administrator and hit it. Once you hit it, your game should start up and your Steam should start up. It could happen that it fixed it, but if it didn't fix it, you're going to simply return back to your shortcut, right click it and go to the very bottom where it says properties. You're going to hit compatibility and simply copy my settings. So let's quickly run through it, enable run this program in compatibility mode 4, select Windows 8, disable the disable full screen optimizations as well as enable run this program as an administrator, hit apply and OK. I would personally recommend you to restart your PC afterwards and once it is restarted you should be able to see this little administrator sim <coughs> I'm really sorry guys <coughs> to see this little administrator symbol right on your shortcut and uh, what I want you to do is simply double click it and start your game and launch it over the launcher. That's it for the video guys, I hope that I could actually help, help you out with this one. If it was like that just leave a like, a comment or a subscription, I'm gonna really be thankful for that. And I'm really sorry if I couldn't help you, but I'm just trying to do my best in order to help you out. Either way, I hope you guys have a wonderful day, see you at the next one and bye.